Well, we run our coverage impact come to the forefront yet again. Parsi married women who have married outside the community can now attend prayers at their fire temple. These women can also attend last rites of the dead in the Parsi Tower of Silence. This is, uh, of course, uh, the decision taken by the Gujarat-based Walsat Parsi Panchayat after Supreme Court had earlier asked the trustees to do so. The top court had observed that a woman's religion does not merge with a husband's after marriage. Well, this decision, of course, was prompted, is being seen as being prompted by the top court urging the Parsi community to take a more progressive stand on the issue. The top court earlier last week had, in fact, disagreed with an earlier Bombay High Court ruling that a woman's religion merges with a husband's faith after marriage and taking view of that uh, observation and that uh, stand the Walsat Panchayat has come out and allowed Parsi women who've married outside their religion to attend the funeral rites of the dead in the Parsi Tower of Silence. They can also now attend prayers at their fire temple. This, of course, is being seen as a decision prompted by the Supreme Court urging the Parsi community to take a more progressive stand on the issue. And this, of course, after the top court had last week disagreed with the Bombay High Court's ruling that a woman's religion merges with a husband's after marriage. The Walsat Parsi Panchayat today decided to allow Parsi married women who have married outside the community to attend prayers in the fire temple as well as they can be present for the last rites of their loved ones in the Tower of Silence. This, as we've been mentioning, uh, was prompted by the top courts uh, urging the Parsi community to take a more progressive stand on the issue. Parsi women who outside, who've married outside the community can attend prayers in the fire temple as they can also be present for the last rites for their loved ones in the Tower of Silence. Minakshi Banja joining us live to get us uh, more inputs on that. Uh, Minakshi, this is a Mirror Now Impact story that we are reporting. Uh, of course, also being seen as uh, being prompted by the Supreme Court urging the Parsi community to take a more progressive stand on the issue. We are having to see now that the Walsat Panchayat has now decided to allow married Parsi women who've married outside the community to attend funeral rites as well as they can now go ahead and prayer in the fire temple. Well, uh, absolutely, this is a huge uh, Miranao impact story. In fact, uh, we were the only ones uh, to have debated it, along with the sister uh, of the petitioner, Gulruk. And what is very interesting is this two-page uh, assurance that has been submitted uh, by the uh, Parsi Panchayat before the Supreme Court in order to assuage the Supreme Court uh, to not pass any negative orders. We are in possession of that uh, as well, uh, this two-page document, the assurance. And they have told the Supreme Court that they're willing uh, to permit uh, this particular petitioner Gulruk from Bombay uh, to enter this particular temple uh, in order to complete the rites uh, of her father. Now the interesting aspect here was this that it was uh, 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 fallen on Gopal Subramaniam uh, to impress upon the Parsi uh, Panchayat uh, who was at the helm of affairs in this particular issue uh, to take a progressive view and uh, also revert to the Supreme Court if uh, there is some middle ground that they are willing to meet. The matter still is sub uh, It will be taken up sometime uh, in the month of January. But in the last date of hearing, it was the top court's observation uh, pertaining to as to how a woman, uh, a Parsi woman, but it has bearing across India because it will include women from other religion as well, uh, married to any person outside of a religion. There, uh, the woman's religion does not merge with the husband's religion. This was the observation of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court had gone on to say that right. the the Special Marriage Act uh, was enacted specifically for this purpose that a person retains uh, the control over one's religion irrespective of marrying outside of the religion. So this observation has weighed uh, on the Parsi uh, Panchayat's mind and that is the reason they are showing this reconciliatory gesture by allowing Gulruk uh, to visit this temple uh, in order to uh, participate in her father's uh, last rites. Back to you. 
But Minakshi also take us through the larger implications of this move by Walsat Parsi Panchayat because uh, this of course as we mentioned has been prompted by the Supreme Court urging uh, the Parsi community to take a more progressive stand on the issue. We also saw the Supreme Court disagreeing with an earlier Bombay High Court ruling as you mentioned earlier that a woman's religion uh, cannot merge with a husband's faith after marriage. So clearly this decision, uh, this move is going to have larger implications as well. Well, absolutely. You know, this case uh, is pertaining to a Parsi woman married outside of her community uh, to a Hindu uh, husband. Uh, but this has implications across the board because one, this is a Supreme Court observation and the Parsi body is cl clearly relenting uh, in the face of the observation that had come about in the last date of hearing from the Supreme Court about really the contours of the Special Marriage Act. Now, there are uh, various uh, marriage acts in India, including the Hindu Marriage Act, but the the purpose with which the Special Marriage Act was enacted here was to uh, facilitate two people coming together in a marriage and retaining uh, their control over their religious identities if they so desired to continue with their religion of birth. And this observation today has contributed somewhere, uh, if, even for Gopal Subramaniam to emphasize on the Parsi authority as to why it was important for them to take a progressive view, which today uh, they have taken, they have submitted assurance and undertaking but why this assumes import is uh, we presently are talking about a Parsi woman married outside of a community but in the foreseeable future when there is a judgment from the Supreme Court uh, the it will have far-reaching impact uh, for marriages uh, across uh, across India uh, which have been solemnized under the Special Marriage Act and Special Marriage Act uh, the purpose for which it was enacted will also perhaps uh, be given a new interpretation by the top court and that will rest all debate uh, in the foreseeable future uh, if uh, there is any ambiguity in anyone's mind whether or not a woman has control to retain her right. religion of birth subsequent to marrying outside of a community slash religion uh, to, to a husband that does not belong to that religion uh, and she has the uh, authority to continue with the religion of her birth. Well, clearly, Amira, now impact there... Uh having on ground with this decision being made by Valsat Parsi Panchayat, taking a progressive stand as was urged by the Supreme Court. Married Parsi women who've married outside their community can now attend prayers in the fire temple as they can also attend the last rites uh, of a funeral at the Tower of Silence.